my little blue light glasses because I have been reading all your emails. Askantilil at gmail.com. Askantilil! Thank you for sending all your dilemmas and questions. And I love you. I hope you're having a great week. It's Thank you for your email. For this one, we're gonna zoop and call my friend and guide, Valerie Maya. Hi, Valerie Maya! <laughs> Hello! Thanks so much for jumping on here. I really Four. wanted you in this video because I feel like you are my agony aunt for so many things. Hi, Lil! Okay, next one. Wow, that's a tough one. I'm so excited! My name is AJ, which can be used. Hi, AJ. I'm 37 years old and I'm forever single. I have never been on a date nor kissed a girl. I'm not the type to go to bars or clubs and online dating has constantly failed me. Is there any light at the end of this tunnel? Yes, a thousand percent. My advice would be, um, if, if you don't feel like dating apps are for you, don't go on them. Don't torture yourself in that way. I have so many friends that keep trying with them and they just don't make them feel good. They don't make them feel happy. So just don't use them. That's not the way you're gonna find the person that you're meant to be with. I feel like it's all gonna come from you building up your self-love and then you will start to shine and be the peacock that you are and it will naturally attract other people to you. But <gasps> I also wanna get the advice of somebody else let's just get a male opinion too oh hello <laughs> hey i've got a question for oh, you right, that i would right. love your opinion on is there any light at the end of this tunnel i've kind of said what i thought what but i say? thought it would be good to get your opinion too yes i think there's absolutely light at the end of the tunnel yeah! I think life is, life's a funny thing because the moment you stop concentrating on something and you're open to anything, suddenly like something just presents itself. As our good friend Val always says, oh. like time is completely relative. We know Val. Oh. I think that, that a lot of pressure is put on people for their age and to get things done at a certain time in their life. And it's like, what you really want is for things to get done at the right time and with the right person. At the right time and with the right person. Because you could have met someone when you were 23 and it didn't work out and it's caused all sorts of issues. It's much better to just be yeah, single at 37. Yeah, you've got no baggage or damage. Well, I just, I just think, I mean, we're gonna live to be 100 years old. Yeah. So you got 60 plus years ahead of you with whoever you're going to meet. Yeah, and there's nothing more attractive than being happy, establish a happiness when you are on your own. There's no better foundation for a relationship. Yes, and I, and I also right? think that like, to, to your point, I think more focus should be on saying, okay, what, what can I do as AJ to make my life better and more fulfilling for you? And as soon as you do that, you're actually going to be in scenarios and situations where you're going to meet people with like interests and it'll just happen. But like, I think the more emphasis that you put on like meeting the person and yeah, all of this. Feeling and it's a like, lack of that, I think yeah. you'll start to I also feel think your light doll, you will shine. Like if you love pottery, instead of like trying to go and meet people at bars, do all of these things. Do hobbies are, that make you happy. Are that, fulfilling. That then would give you a good connection with someone that might be doing them as well, like a pottery class or, but do it for yourself and know that the byproduct could be a partner if that's what's meant to happen. But don't worry about going on dating apps if that's not your jam. Don't try to do stuff that's outside of what you love to do to find the person because like you say, you're not gonna have that in, that in common with them. Yeah, I think, yeah, 100%. Figure out ways to make your, put yourself to use with like a service mind. If you can be doing things to make your life better and to make the lives of other people better, things will be put right in your path. And the more you focus on, on those things, like your life is going to be far richer anyways. You won't even be worrying about There'll it. There'll be so much light at the end of the tunnel, you'll be basking in it. And you won't even 
notice that all of a sudden there's the person of your dreams just right in front of you. Oh my gosh, what are you, what are you ah, doing? Um, hey, here's a quick fire yes or no. <laughs> Auntie Lil, I have very strong feelings for someone and I suspect he may feel the same way. Should I tell him how I feel or should I wait for him to pursue me? I just don't want to be rejected. Thank you, Anonymous. Yes or no? Should they tell him how they feel or not? For fear of rejection. Yeah. A strong yes. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. I think... And I mean, I know I said it was yes or no, but I have been always, and I've said, I've said I like guys and they have been not liking me too. And guess what? It just led me to the person I was meant to be with. I just feel like, why waste your time if you know that you like somebody and you need to get it out there. If they like you too, amazing, see what happens. And if they don't, then they weren't meant to be for you, but you don't wanna to spend too much energy if, it, if you feel like it's stopping you moving forward in some way. Nobody like, I mean, rejection is hideous, but it's gonna teach you something and it's gonna save you because if he doesn't feel the same way, then he's not, the, he's not gonna enrich your life in the way that you thought he would, but he is gonna enrich it and then it's gonna put you on the right path kind of change direction a little bit and it will lead you where you're meant to be going. And everybody gets rejected, so don't feel like, oh, there's something wrong with me. It's just a course correction. I agree 100%. I just saw a thing uh, said that it's not, it's not the guys or girls that ghost you that are the problem. It's actually the guy or girl who's like, in and out and in and out and in and out and it's like it's just enough to like keep you attached and then you waste all of this time i think just be decisive be decisive stand in your own power say how you feel you should be super proud of saying how you feel it's really brave it's really vulnerable and it's the best thing for your life path yeah even and enjoy the rejection if you get rejected be grateful for it say ah oh, Thank you so much. You have saved me so much time, so much energy. I'm clearly meant to be on this other path now. Well, and, and the other fun thing is that like, if, 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 you, if you film it, like if you're gonna tell the person just by like kissing them, you might as well put a camera up, film it, and then stick it on TikTok. Great because TikTok. you might go viral and become a TikTok star. There you go. Um, hey, thanks. Oh, well, hold on, am I gonna get out of here now? <laughs> Oh, I love this. I know. Should they go for it and say, or should they wait? In this day and age, do throw out all the handbooks that tell you to wait. Yeah. Go with what feels right to you. And if it feels really right to go tell them how you feel, don't waste time. And if it feels really right to go tell them how you feel, don't waste time. And it's a similar to your advice before, that if, if this person said, hey, I like you, and they didn't reciprocate that feeling, then they're doing you a favor because they're letting you move on, take what you learn, take that enjoyment of liking someone, and then go put it somewhere else in your life. 100%, if you're holding on and waiting, it's holding an energy space, so. Yeah just sits there you might as well let it keep moving in the right yeah, direction keep moving oh, yes <laughs> oh, thank you so much for sending your emails i have absolutely loved reading them let me know below give lovely generous advice if you can to the people that i have featured thank you so much for trusting me with your problems and thoughts i've also had a lot of emails about how you plan your time a lot of you are feeling like you have far too much to do and far few time uh far few time you get it i get the same feelings too my top tips would be i love a list write a list don't feel like you have to get it all done but at least then it gets it out of your brain and onto something that you can see and then you can really enjoy ticking it off and then once you've got everything down in front of you that you want to get done in the day sometimes i'll look at my list and it'll have 25 things on it and i go well of course i'm not going to get all this done in a day and it just allows me to kind of forgive myself a little bit for not getting everything done the other thing is prioritize if you can't get everything done then don't set yourself up for failure just pick two things that you want to get done and know that if you get those done then you should have a reward of feeling good about yourself so prioritizing is often the key 
The next thing is I have a mantra that I will say if I'm feeling super stressed or like a day is just getting away from me, all of a sudden it's four o'clock and I feel like I've hardly got started on my day. I have a mantra that I just say, anytime I'm feeling stressed, I take three big deep breaths and I just say to myself, I have an infinite amount of time. I have time, I have time, I have time. Um, and that just helps kind of calm me down and put me in the right headspace to at least use the time I have efficiently because if you're forever worrying about it then it just makes it worse. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you so much. This has been the first episode of Ask Will. Um, and I love this. It's what all my friendships are built on basically is just asking for advice, giving advice when asked for, which I think is another really important thing. Most people that don't ask for advice don't really want it, they just want you to listen, which is also extremely important. And a lot of you have actually said that just writing the email helped, which is amazing. So maybe that's another tip to kind of write problems down, put them away in a drawer and come back to them in a bit when it's just something that reorganizes your thoughts a little bit if you can write them down, I think. Thank you to Val, thank you for Zach. And let me know if you want more of these videos. Okay, love you.